Hi, I'm Bob with Full Fridge. Right now I'm going to show you guys how to remove and replace the cartridge style hydraulic oil filters that we use on our log splitters. For our cartridge style filters, we use two different sizes. And one size is going to be what's in our aluminum tank and the other size is what's going to be in our steel tank. In this video, I'm going to go over replacement on both styles and we're going to start first with this aluminum tank. This right here is a 17 VS and this is the aluminum hydraulic oil tank that we're working with. This same tank or similar tank you would find on the high outputs as well as the super high outputs. So here's our oil filter housing and here's the lid for it. I've got a half inch ratcheting wrench and I'm going to loosen all four of these bolts. And I'm starting here with a clean machine. Uh, this machine actually is not fully assembled yet, but for illustration purposes, I figured this would be nice. Uh, that way I don't have to spill oil everywhere. So we don't have to take these out all the way. You can if you want to, but now all I have to do is rotate this. And normally you'd want to wear gloves for this, but um, once we rotate that, we're going to lift this up and this whole canister assembly is going to come out of there. Once we're to that point, we can pop the filter out here and it's important to take this entire assembly out of there because a lot of your debris is going to be inside of here. So this can get uh, dumped out into your drain oil and you could use some brake parts cleaner or something to clean out the inside of here. Check to make sure your O-ring here is in good condition. Get this cleaned up. And here you will see the actual canister hydraulic oil filter. Or here's the cartridge, I should say. Uh, here's the part number SRE40925. We do have these on our website in the parts and accessories section. And when you go to put the new one in, you'll want to take some fresh hydraulic oil and lube around these O-rings here, these big rubber flanges. After this is cleaned, we will drop this back in. Now, it's important to note on this, on this style, there is a cutout here. You can see these, these curved ones, and you can see this one is more like uh, squared off. So match that up with inside of here. You will see that there are rounded ones and there are square ones. So if I try to put this in the wrong way, um, it's not gonna sit right. So rotate it. Here we've got that squared off location. We will drop this in. You'll feel it kind of seat with that O-ring. And then again, have some oil on this. Push this in. You'll feel it kind of seat. And take a look here. Make sure that your O-ring looks good here as well. And this part will actually seat into the oil filter there. So we will gently put this back in here. And I did not take off uh, the bolts all the way. So we'll press this down. You can actually feel the O-ring starting to seat. We'll twist it back into position. And then I will snug these up to be finger tight. And then I'll go around and I will tighten them. And I'll go across from each other, not in a circle. So make like an X pattern. Get them snug, just so that flange is making contact. And then you can go back around, give them, I don't know, not even an eighth of a turn. The O-rings are doing most of the work for, um, uh, for sealing this thing. Uh, this is all tightened up and you may have lost a little bit of fluid during that. We've always got our full cold mark here. And this is a dual purpose gauge that uh, some people don't know about this. We'll show you your level, but also in the center is a thermometer. So you can see the blue line right there. That's telling us what our temperature is. If this was submerged in hydraulic oil, um, that would be actually telling us what the temperature of the hydraulic oil is. So you have two spots and when this is cold, your level will be here. As you're running this machine, your level will go up because hydraulic oil expands with heat. Um, and as you see that, you'll also see the blue line, the mercury inside that thermometer going up. So you can see the temperature of your hydraulic oil. Here is the fill cap on the aluminum hydraulic oil tank. And these use um, AW32. All of our machines use AW32 hydraulic oil. And this is a vented cap also. So the tank can breathe as the uh, fluid is expanding and contracting. This machine right here is a 28C compact commercial. 
This procedure is going to be the same as it is on our RS, our 28 Pro, and the compact commercials. The difference is going to be that on the compact commercial, you have a separate oil fill, whereas on the 17 RS and the 28 Pro, you are going to have a combination oil fill and hydraulic oil filter. We're going to twist this cap off, and uh, you may need to put a large channel locks around here or a nice crescent wrench here. Uh, be careful to not round these nubs off, or you could strong arm this and loosen it up that way. So we're gonna loosen this up. And again, this is a brand new machine, so there is no oil in it. And that's gonna make it easier for me today to show you guys um, how this uh, comes apart and goes together. So just keep spinning this. You'll see there's a spring on the top here and there is an O-ring here. So you wanna make sure that this O-ring's in good condition. And then we can take out the oil filter and it's gonna come out with this plastic bucket. Now that we've got that out, we can separate the oil filter from the plastic bucket. And this plastic bucket, you're gonna to wanna to make sure is clean because a lot of the debris will go in here. So the recommendation is to pull out the filter and this bucket at the same time because all your debris is sitting in this bucket. So dump this out into your drain oil. And then you can, again, you can use some uh, brake parts cleaner or something like that to clean the inside of this, get this rinsed out well, and then you would take your new hydraulic oil filter and you can make sure to lube around this. Make sure to lube this really well. And then we will slide that into the bucket, pop it in, see how it kind of seated there. And then we'll drop the whole thing back into place here. Feel that seated. This spring, this spring will keep pressure against the oil filter and make sure to oil this O-ring as well before you put it back together. And then you can just spin this back on. Make sure to not cross thread it. It should start easily. You do have to push down on it while you turn it because of that spring pressure. But once it gets started, and as we get closer towards tight all the way, that O-ring is giving us a little bit of pushback, but that's good. We're getting a nice seal there. Make sure this is tight and then we'll double check our oil level. Just like our other machines, this uses a combination sight glass thermometer. So our full cold level would be right here and you would see a line here in the fluid. Uh, so you'll know that you have plenty of fluid in it. Now, like I said, this one is empty. It's going through final assembly right now. So it does not have oil in it yet. And then the center here is actually a thermometer. So you can see the blue line in there. That's gonna tell us what our temperature is. So it's a dual purpose gauge. You have your fluid level and then you have your temperature. And as this thing would warm up, as the hydraulic oil would warm up, you'll see your level go up because the hydraulic oil uh, expands and contracts. And as that's happening, you will likely see your thermometer change as well. Now this tank specifically is gonna be on the 28C, 35C, and it's gonna be on the 22RS. On the 28 Pro and the 17RS, there'll be a smaller tank, but they're gonna use this same canister. On those two machines, you would fill your oil and change your oil filter here. On the compact commercials, the 28C, 35C, and 22RS, you will also have an oil fill cap. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for showing you how to change these canister style hydraulic oil filters. Some of our older machines and still our uh, hydraulic powered conveyors do have a spin-on style filter, but that's just like any regular car. You take it off and you've got your gasket. Um, make sure your gasket surfaces are clean and you spin that back on. Wanted to show you guys how easy it was to change these cartridge style filters as well. We are going to be growing this maintenance and how-to video section on the website. And if there's something specific that you want to see as far as a maintenance or instructional video goes, please let us know in the comments. Um, I'll do my best to get that added to the website. We do keep the hydraulic oil filters in stock. You can order these from our website or you can give us a call. On the website, under the parts and accessories section, you can find the hydraulic oil filters and all kinds of other stuff for these machines. And we're growing that as time goes on as well. If you want more information on any of our products, including pricing and all configuration options, please visit our website, www.wolfridgemfg.com, or you can give us a call or send us an email. I will make sure to leave those links in the description for you guys. I wanna thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for the support. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's next at Wolf Ridge.